ask any business owner, entrepreneur, millionaire, or billionaire what led to their success. And there are two trends you're going to hear time and time again. One of the things is books, reading books. And the second thing is finding coaches and mentorships all along the way. Reading a book is kind of like a more generalized form of coaching because you're taking someone's years probably worth of insights and experience and research that they've distilled down into something you can read over the next week and that will ultimately help you build whatever it is you're trying to create. Now, in the context of this conversation, we're of course talking about you building your no-code app and your app-based business. And so in this video, we're going to talk through five specific books you should be reading as a no-code app entrepreneur to help you build the best product and build the best business too. These are some of my favorites and make sure you stick around until the end because book number five might just be my most favorite of them all because it takes everything that you'll learn from the first four books and help you implement it into your business as a whole so you can grow and scale from there. Hey, it's Kristen over at Coaching No Code Apps. We help non-technical entrepreneurs build custom apps so they can start their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses all without coding. And if that's what you're doing, then subscribe to this channel for new videos to help you every single week. If you follow the channel, then book number one is one you've heard me talk about before. It is Blue Ocean Strategy. This is a really great book for anyone starting out with their product because initially when you are scoping your app and figuring out what to build, you're gonna be looking at a lot of the solutions that you're currently using or that your target market is currently using and potentially some of your competitors. And the last thing you wanna do is go into the development of your app, trying to directly compete with already existing products. That's not to say it doesn't happen. So, you know, in general, that's the last thing I want you to do. And Blue Ocean Strategy is a really great book that essentially talks about products being in a red ocean, which is bloody because it's where all the competition is happening and everyone's fighting for their share of the market and there's lots of bloodshed and all of that. And then there's the blue ocean where you're in an ocean all by yourself because instead of competing directly with other existing solutions, you have created something that is different and therefore the competition is not really a factor and instead you've differentiated your products and you've really put a spin on what you offer and how you can help your users compared to everyone else who's kind of fighting each other. So if you haven't read Blue Ocean Strategy, I highly recommend it no matter where you are in your app development journey, but especially if you're closer to the beginning, make sure you pick this one up. The second book on the list is Crossing the Chasm. Now this is also one I've talked about here on the channel before. This is a bit dated of a book, but still really applicable. And it talks about how to essentially roll out your product to your market. Now I'm gonna open up the book to a specific page. So you can see we have innovators and early adopters. We have the early majority and the late majority. And then at the end there, we have the laggards. This is something I personally reference really frequently. Of course, there's also a lot more that the book has to offer. But if you've seen some of our past videos, the reason why this is so helpful is because when you are building your app, you're not just building everything at once and then launching everything at once. You're really building your product in phases. You've heard of an MVP, a minimum viable product. Um, we like to focus on building pilot versions of apps and then you know rolling out from there. But essentially your, your app is going to go through a number of different stages as you roll it out within your market. When you look at a curve like this, it essentially aligns with those different development stages and it helps you understand who you're building your app for in the early stages and therefore how to focus your development because if you're just building for everyone, then you're gonna be building a really big product, but you need to build the right product for the right people at the right times and roll it out over time. The third book on the list is called Don't Make Me Think. I don't actually have a physical copy at the moment. I think I read it on my Kindle, but essentially it's a book that helps you understand how to design anything from a web page to an application to make sure that users have to think 
as little as possible. Now, this book is also fairly dated, so if you read through it, you'll see that some things aren't necessarily applicable to what you're doing, but look at the concepts from a higher level. Essentially, you always want to give your users as intuitive of an experience as possible, because anytime someone has to think about what they should be doing or where they should be looking for something, that causes friction. And the last thing you want in your app is friction because friction causes people to leave and never come back. So the principles you can learn from Don't Make Me Think will help you understand how to simplify the design and navigation of your app so that users can come on board and simply accomplish the goals they are looking to achieve versus having to really kind of sift through things. So again, a little bit dated, but some very, very valuable information and something we practice constantly. Simple and straightforward and intuitive is always going to be better than fancy. So pick up a copy of that if you haven't read it. Next up, we have Escaping the Build Trap. Now, I really love this book and a lot of it actually does focus on a product manager's role within a company as if that were your job. And so some of it is not going to feel directly applicable to your app, but even, even with that part in there, the book as a whole is really great at driving home exactly why you should be focusing on delivering value with your product. So essentially, a lot of developers or anyone building a product are focused on outputs, right? So how much work are we doing and how much output is happening? In other words, how many features are being shipped? How many new iterations? How many extra features are being added onto the app? How much can we build, right? And that is the build trap because more often than not, most of those features aren't really needed by your users and they don't necessarily add more value, right? Because more isn't always better. Instead, a lot of times they just add more clutter or more complications and escaping the build trap is all about focusing on problem solving and coming at the development of your product from a problem solving mindset. So if you can't think through how a feature is actually solving a problem or better, better yet, if you're not thinking about the problem first and then thinking about what feature would solve this additional problem, right? If you're not thinking in that way, then you are going to land yourself inside of a build trap where you just build and build and build and eventually development always kind of fizzles out when that happens. And so again, you wanna be coming at the development and launch and growth of your product from a problem solving mindset and escaping the build trap is a really practical read that will help you do that on a day-to-day -day basis with your app and help your team do that as well as you grow your app and your business as a whole. Okay, so our first four books really focus on strategy and product strategy specifically. And the fifth book, which I mentioned is probably my favorite here, is called Fix This Next. Now, this is one we've also talked about on the channel before, but I really love this book for anyone who is starting a business for the first time, all the way up to anyone who is trying to hit that maybe 3 million per year revenue mark. So we're really looking at a pretty broad spectrum of entrepreneurs and business owners, but it is a really practical guide for helping you see exactly which areas of your business you need to be focusing on at any given time within your growth with your business as a whole. So this is going to help you avoid focusing on the wrong things at the wrong times because, you know, there are a blue million strategies and tactics that you'll read about online or see videos about or hear from other people and their strategies and tactics that maybe worked perfectly for other people. But the right strategy at the wrong time is still the wrong strategy. And so if you are focusing on the wrong things, even if at the right time they are the right things, they're still gonna be the wrong things for you. So you always wanna make sure that you're focusing on the exact right things when you're growing your business. And, and this book is gonna help you do that. Now, I can't finish this video without talking about one more book, and that is the one that is always up on the shelf here. It's called Finish What You Start. This is a really quick read. You can you know read it in an afternoon or over a weekend, 
And this is one that I suggest you pick up when you are in the midst of your app's development because, you know, one of the secrets to success is patience. <laughs> it's pretty simple, but a lot of people lack patience. And when you're building an app and a business, you have to be playing the long game. It's not gonna be an overnight success. And sometimes that can feel like a, a slog, <laughs> especially when you are maybe a solo founder and you're, you're doing this alone. And when you start to feel that way, and you will at some point, pick this up and read it. It's a great book to help re-inspire you when you're feeling a little bit burnt out and you need that spike in inspiration again to remember why you started all of this in the first place. This book is going to do that for you, so grab a copy of that as well. You know, there are tons of other books we could add to this list, a lot of them more general, and for the more general books, I like to read blog posts or watch videos or get more condensed information. And then on the flip side, there are a lot of more specific books. So maybe you're building a SaaS and you're trying to figure out how to, you know, structure a maybe a free trial or a freemium version of your product or maybe decide between offering demos, you know, and you wanna try to figure out which one is right for you or how to structure that yourself. There's lots of other very specific books for certain situations, but these five books are applicable to anyone, no matter what you're building and what your business is for, these books are gonna help you see success. Now, of course, you're building an app and these don't go into the technical side of things. Actually, you know, building your database, your workflows, your page structure, your design and all of that. So these books are going to help you with your app, your product and your business as a whole. But if you want to take a deep dive into the more technical components as well to combine with this other information, then head to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop where we will do a deep dive into the tech side so you can come out on the other side with all the information you need to really knock it out of the park with your app. Now, the most important thing is to make sure you implement. Everything you've learned from what we've talked about and what you'll learn about in that free workshop, make sure you implement it. All right, I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.